compared to Barrels of Fun, this level is like a big hemorrhoid on your ass that's ready to burst. That's not an exaggeration. That's the truth. I mean, on paper, it's an interesting concept, but it's very poorly executed. Come here, you big bastard pumpkin. Meet your doom. Where are you going? Oh, you stupid scumbag. It hit the teleporter. Luckily for me, I know exactly where Big Ugly went. He's right over here. Come on, show your face right now. Good. Somebody else shooting at me? I heard something. Oh, you. No problem. Just pick you off with a shotgun. Come on, get over here. Okay. Now that that's taken care of, let's pull out the rockets and let's have a ball. That was pathetic. All those rockets and not much death to show for it. Ugh. This is one of those days where I should have just stayed in bed. But then again, it could be a lot worse. And it will get a lot worse. Know why? If you can't tell by the tone of my voice, yeah, this level is bad. Very, very bad. I mean, it has some cool stuff to it, and it's got a lot of nice surprises. But at the same time, yeah, the cons definitely outweigh the pros. I'll go into a little more detail once we get to certain spots. But first, we'll go over here, and there's some rockets to be had. Since I used a lot, yeah, every little bit counts. Of course, it's not going to add up to a hill of beans because I'm going to use them right away. Here is the first beef. Narrow ledge walking. Yeah. You fall, you end up in poison. And at certain spots, lava. I mean, it's not the worst thing. I mean, the ledge is wide enough, but... If you're too jerky with the controls, it could end up costing you. Maybe just a little bit of health. Maybe a lot. Nice little surprise. You're done. Oh. Oh. Thankfully, that was there. I had never fallen in there before, but at the same time... Where did you come from? You know what? I had a good crap. Just die. Wait a second. You're totally fresh. Did I not hit you? Or are you a different Cacodemon? At this point, I can't even tell. It's a damn good thing there was a teleporter in there, because if I wasn't able to get out of there, that would have been my third failed attempt at this. Yeah, I've tried a couple of times, and... Ugh. I am not feeling it today. And it's getting on my nerves big time. Anyway. Obvious secret. I mean, not much of a secret if you think about it, but at the same time, it's a good thing, so yeah. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay, where I'm going is actually not where I need to go to finish the level, but it'll lead to some nice secrets. And the more I get, the better. I want to go into the next few levels well-equipped. Turn off the lights, and get ready to dance. Hey! Don't get handsy with me! You go in, and a trap will open. Chain gutters by the, by the barrel pole. What the hell did I just do to myself? That was absolutely stupid. I nearly wrecked myself. Don't be like me. <sighs> Calm down, J-Rock. You're doing fine. Step through here, and the way out will be sealed. Come on, you big sacks of shit. Let's go. One by one. Line up. Bring your daughter to the slaughter. There we go. 
clean up aisle 666. There's another one. Come on, get over here. I don't have a lot of time, and I don't have a lot of patience. Nice try. Seems like that's all of them. And that switch will actually get us back out of here. But we're not done yet. More of those bastard demons. Nice try. You're not going to get the drop on me. Anybody else? Yeah, it seems like these guys are really smart. They're using the teleporters quite effectively. But now it's my turn! Yeah, don't think I've forgotten about you, pal. Okay, there we go. Looks like that's it. And now... We leave. The switches I pushed will release me from here and open up a very valuable secret. Go to here. And I gotta be kinda careful because I took a bit of a pounding here. Yeah, that's right. Eat my bullets, pal. Anybody else want to mess? Alright. Time to search and destroy. A lot of nasties in here, and I want to make sure they're all dead. Nice! Double dinger! Yeah! That's the way to do it. Push the computer switch. And it opens up a secret within the secret. And on that note, a few more monsters to kill, and then I'm on my way. Let's try and pop the last one with a single. And of course, too much to ask. Story of my fucking life. That switch is a double edge. It'll open up some nice items, but at the same time, you gotta bring up the nasties. There we go. The big item, Megasphere, but I'm going to save that, because right now, I think it's time to do a little quick exploration. So I'll grab this, jump into the poison, and go over here. There will be more monsters to dispose of, so yeah, there's that. A couple of packs of shotgun shells here. Small packs, but still. Free ammo. And a big stockpile items here. Gotta take care of Mr. Ugly Pants first. And once, once again, time for punching. Unbelievable. Seems like that Berserk Fist isn't really doing the job anymore. But at the same time, when I punch these guys, they're actually going flying pretty far. But now it's time to get serious. They're stuck on each other. Funny. Plenty of items. I love it. Okay, now that I've got that taken care of, let's get out of here. Take the teleporter. Back up here. And now let's make some actual progress. Next stop, blue key. But yeah, gotta be careful. I don't want to fall in. Lord knows I failed this level enough times. Okay. That's the best you got. Yeah, of course it is, because you suck. Bang! Anybody else? Of course there is. Always lots of monsters to kill. That didn't do it? Unbelievable. Come on, you big ugly pumpkin. Show your face. Or just let me shoot you in the back. Sp ah. 
Am I being played for a chump here? There's usually an imp there. Oh well, whatever. Pop you. And now, the final curtain. Yeah! I don't like how sometimes, while the shotgun is powerful enough to drop shotgunners, imps, and even chain gunners in one go. Whoops! Almost forgot! I didn't grab what I came for! Yeah, see, this is what happens when you fail multiple times. Your brain turns to mush. And this is one of those rare cases where even though we're in the hell levels, we're not picking up skull keys, but key cards. I mean, it's nothing really stellar as far as aesthetic goes, but it's a nice touch. That's all I'm going to say. Anywho, now that we've got the blue key, let's open this door up and get to the real bullshit. More narrow ledge walking. You see that pillar that has the poison symbols on it? If you fall in, you're dead. As if that's not bad enough, there are cacodemons in there. You gotta be fast, and you gotta grab that plasma gun. Faster, faster, faster. Oh, fuck off. Oh, teleport it. It was necessary to get my ass safe. Alright. Now let's take out those dumb pumpkins. I'm getting really tired of their shenanigans. Actually, I'm getting tired of a lot of things around here. This is against my better judgment, but I'm grabbing that Megasphere right now. I need to last. And it's a good thing that other radiation suit is there, because... Honestly... It will definitely come in handy. Alright. Where are you bastards? There you are. Eat it! Alright. You both will do you in. Yes, indeed. Can't forget that. And look at that. After you circle the perimeter enough, the floor will rise, and it's like a big middle finger. Alright. Just gotta be careful. Got more narrow ledge walking to do. And at this point, I think I'm just gonna go for where I need to pick up the red key. The less time I have to spend in this level, the better. But at the same time, I could take comfort in the fact that there is another Megasphere if I absolutely need it. But at the same time, is it really worth it? Oh yes, and I almost forgot. If you need a little bit of an edge when it comes to walking the um, narrow spots, use your shotguns. They act as good measuring sticks. Okay. 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 Back off! These guys will come at you from all angles, and you gotta be very careful. If they push you into the poison, you're done for. There's no way out. Come on. Not so fast! As for you... Come on. Come get some. What, you're not gonna charge? Ugh, fine. Teach you the old-fashioned way. <sighs> okay. This part makes me so nervous. In one of my Bosch recordings, I actually fell off during the narrow ledge walking part, and I'm not happy about it. But then again, it takes a lot to make me happy. Oh well. Anyway, switch the fist because we've got a lot of punching to do. Don't touch! Yeah, good tip to keep in mind when punching these guys. Hunch forward when you're about to punch. This way, if you miss your punch, you can actually take cover. Get your ass over here, buddy. Anybody else? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, there's more of them! Back the fuck off! You know what? I think I'm gonna open this real fast and get these guys out of my hair right away because that's where the exit is. And the sooner I dispose of the trash, the better. It's not that troublesome to get the red key. 
just take some time to get these monsters off my back. Excellent. You know what? I am getting mighty sick of using my fists. I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way, the, the way I like, with my shotgun. Yeah. Plenty more demons. Luckily for me, I can actually go back and get some more shells. I suppose since I've thinned out the herd, I'll go back to my fists for now. Come here. And there's another one. But unfortunately, I gotta do this whole stupid sequence over again. What a goon. But now I've got the means to exit this level. And now it's time to put back the super shotgun because it's now time for the final test. The long walk through hell. Yeah. I've got a narrow ledge to traverse all the way to the red door. <sighs> and if I slip up, it's over. Absolutely over. I mean... So far, so good. Just take your time. About halfway done. But be warned, it starts to get narrower and narrower. Just light flicks of the stick. Light flicks. Easy does it. Almost there. Almost there. Last stretch. Oh, I made it. And this is the ultimate middle finger. As soon as you get across, the floor rises out of the acid, or the poison, and pretty much makes you feel miserable. That's the one real bad thing about this level I absolutely hate. That's the exit, but I'm not going in there just yet. I've got more items to pick up. Ammo, health, armor. And I intend to get it done as fast as I can. So, first things first. I save the radiation suit for here. So yeah, back into the poison, and we'll go stock up on some shotgun shells and bullets. Oh, can't believe I missed that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'll save that if need be. Box of bullets here. And shells over here. Let's see, anything else I'm missing here? Nope. We're clear. Alright. Back up we go. And now we'll go through the blue key area. Start to do some tightrope blocking again, so to speak. And we'll make my way to the other Megasphere. Unfortunately, we've got some more enemy hostiles to take in. Or take on. And those hostiles? Lost souls. Oh, wait, I forgot. Still a Cacodemon on the loose. If it finds me and starts taking pot shots, that could be bad. You may have noticed, out of the corner of the camera, there was an invulnerability. It's an obvious trap. If you miss it, you're going to land in some... lava. And that stuff is way worse than the poison. There we go. Back off. These guys are just way too predictable. But that's not all of them. There's still a couple more out there. Don't know where they're at, but at the same time, it's not like I really care. 
All right, easy does it. That Megasphere is right in front of me. And come hell or high water, I'm getting it. Oh, and there's also armor if you need it. Oh, crap. Just remembered, I can't get it yet. Anybody else? Oh, boy. It's all coming back to me now. I jumped the gun way too fast. Yeah, back off. As it turns out, yeah, there are switches I need to push. And it's a good thing those lost souls are dumb as dirt. If they weren't, I'd be in trouble. Okay, just line up my shot and go over here. Yeah, that didn't do jack squat. So now I gotta go over here. There's gonna be a little bit of fighting going on, but um, it'll be worth it. Pull my rockets. Ooh, shells. Nice. Crap! Oh, back the fuck off, pal. Uh, sometimes I really hate these things. Next up, Mancubus. Oh, Mancubi! He's done. Nice try. There we go. That's a good boy. Okay, so we got another Berserk pack. And we got ourselves a computer panel. Flip the switch. And no surprise, Spectres and Piggies. So punch like mad. Or if you've got enough ammo, use it. Alright, come on. Punch, punch, punch. You're just about done trying to chew my face off. Okay, I know there's more of those bastards here. There we go. Come here. Yeah, these guys can actually hide out in the corners. There we go. Alright. Now... If I remember correctly, pushing on that computer panel will have opened up the way to that Megasphere. And if it didn't, then, well, I haven't got a bloody clue. Oh, sure enough, it did. And there's actually rockets there, too. Okay, easy, easy. I don't want to fall in. That's the last thing I want to do. Okay. Now, there's a hole right in front of the... Megasphere. That will take us to a radiation suit. Because it's a teleporter. Collect the rockets. Big bonus. Okay. So now at this point, nothing's going to stop me now. But at the same time, I'm also show you this other piss off. You grab the invulnerability, and you're stuck here. You gotta wait for the ground to rise up. And by the time it's all said and done, this thing will have worn off. So yeah, it's like, what's the point? But luckily for me, as soon as I get through that teleporter where the hanging corpse is, I'll be good. And this game spits in your face again by making you push the button a few more times. I really don't want to figure out what happens when you fall back in, so I'm not even going to chance it. Right now, I'm just going to traverse the tightrope, or the narrow ledge. I don't know why I keep calling it the tightrope, but I don't really care. I've had enough of this level, and I want out. And there goes my radiation suit. Hmm. Well, I, since, uh, since I'm in the free and clear, I might as well pick up that stuff. Provided I don't fall into the middle, that would ruin this run again.
I mean, if I fall to the outside, that's perfectly fine because, yeah, I'm okay. Okay, that's it. I'll just wait for the floor to rise. Then I'll make a break for the teleporter, get through the red door, and be done with this abomination of a level. Oh, come on, can't you go any faster? Ugh, I swear. It's worse than the bus in Winnipeg. Ugh, that does it. The chasm is over and done with. At this point, I don't think I got everything, but at the same time, I really don't care. I'm just glad it's over. Still pretty good. Got all the secrets. And this could be the longest time I've taken in a level so far. I could be wrong, so don't quote me. But anyway, that's the chasm, and we're officially as far as I've ever gotten in this game. Ever. Without cheating. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. With this done, we're going off to the Blood Falls. Until next time, everybody. This is JP of Channel 84 Winnipeg, signing off. See you next time.